of the Hillsborough Concert Band, which will be playing the last two pieces for you this evening. Um, for my band parents, our band banquet is a week from tonight, starting at 7 p.m. in our cafeteria. We are asking for each family to please donate a dessert, a drink, or a cooler of ice. Whichever one you want to donate, please do. Keep in mind that we do have some students who have allergies to nuts. Um, so please contribute, and we hope to see you there. Um, just so you know, all of these children on stage are amazing. They have improved so much since August until now. You won't recognize them. You will not. Um, I am so proud of each and every one of them. I can't even put it into words. So instead, we're going to put it into music in instead. So, but I do have to brag on just a couple of them because they have achieved so much in their musical endeavors this year. For those of you who don't know what Drum Corps International is, it is an organization or, um, that is worldwide. And what it is, it's like professional marching band. It's like the NFL of marching band, except you don't get rich and famous off of it. You actually go into debt over it because you have to pay for it, but anyway. And what it is, it's um, children, adults, ages 14 to 21, um, decide that they want to march for a drum corps. And they're based out of different cities all over the, the United States and all over the world. And we're lucky enough because there's one based out of Nashville. It's called Music City Drum and Bugle Corps. And two of our students have undergone a five-month audition process to get to march for the Music City Drum and Bugle Corps. Samantha Cart, stand. Three bass. One of our students is going to major in music industry at Belmont University. He has grown significantly, not as a musician, but as a person this year. Simon Bars has received a $25,000 scholarship to attend Belmont University. And without further ado, Jay Dawson's Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace is a hymn with words written by John Newton in 1754. In West Africa, Newton partnered with a slave trader and negotiated with African chiefs to obtain slaves. Newton mistreated the African people through violence and immoral acts and lived a life of arrogance and hatred. One night on a slave ship transporting slaves back to England, a violent storm flooded the ship with water. Despite the dramatic experience, the ship was safely harbored with no lives lost. Spending long hours at the ship's helm, he reflected on his life and rejection of goodness and love. At first, he thought his shortcomings too great to be forgiven, but then Newton decided to make significant changes by accepting kindness and love into his life and evoking that love. In 1779, Newton's infamous Amazing Grace was published and became one of the most famous hymns of our time. In our performance of Amazing Grace, you will hear many timbres and colors blended together in ways you may not have heard this hymn performed before. Uh, it is significant because just as the differing colors of sound blend together in this arrangement, the hymn has spread across the globe in many cultures and languages to portray the same message, to love one another. Thank you for coming tonight, and we hope you enjoy Jay Dawson's Amazing Grace. <laughs> 